Okay. How many phases do we have? Hold, hold on, it was still possible to dispose of evidence even if you weren't the janitor. But without opening the shutter, one is unable to light the incinerator flame, are they not? No, it's still possible. If you use this. It's busted, but it looks like a glass ball. Well, it was supposed to be a crystal ball. By using this, how would you use it? The coat threw it. The culprit threw this glass ball through the space of the shutters at the incinerator switch. Doing so, he was able to switch on the incinerator fire. He threw it through the shutters? You said it yourself, Yamada. What is this? The incinerator's flame has been left lit. How strange. Last time I was here, I made quite certain the flame had been extinguished. Is this fairy's doing? The incinerator was turned on without Yamada, who had the key knowing. That's because the culprit pressed the incinerator switch without opening the shutters. Having lit the incinerator's flame, he balled up the dress shirt and threw it in. Hey, what you saying, man? The condition of the room after the disposal tell us the culprit didn't open the shutters. The broken, the broken glass ball, the incinerator being left on, the burnt fragment of cloth. If the janitor were the killer, he would have been more careful when he got rid of evidence. Wait, I said wait! A baseball player! But the incinerator is more than 10 meters away from the shutters, isn't it? Only if you're a baseball player! Super duper baseball player! Is it really possible to throw a glass ball from that distance? And hit the switch with pinpoint accuracy? <laughs> yeah, that obviously ain't possible. It may be difficult, but it's not impossible. All star. Because the killer is a super duper high school all star, isn't that right, Kawada? Kawada. You're talking crazy! Indeed, for one dub the Super Duper High School All-Star, a 10 meter target is nothing. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm not the culprit! Besides, the logic's completely whack, you shit brain chuckle fox! Chuckle fox? You still want a minute, in that case. Oh, Go back over the incident one more time and explain every little bit of his crime. And with that, let's put an end to this. I'm telling you, this ain't over yet! You can say whatever you want, Kuwata. We've solved all the mysteries. And now I'll show you what really happened. Cin Cinemax 
Cinemax. Climax Cinemax. Wow, Climax Logic is about to begin. See tutorial? Yeah. Climax Logic is the class tutorial's final puzzle, the ultimate showdown. In this phase, your goal is to present the sequence of events composing the crime. The incident is reconstructed in manga form. Remember, manga is read from right to left. However, a number of panels has been removed from the manga. It's your job to complete the manga by inserting logic panels into the empty frames. Additionally, you can aim your crosshair at an empty panel and press X. And look at that, a hint just for you. I wish you best of luck, over and out. And we go. Uh. My room, my room was the crime, oh thank god. My room was the crime scene, but uh, the incident began when the culprit entered my room. Entered. Oh, there's more. Okay. Alright. When Mizono first attacked with the knife, the culprit noticed something in my room. Uh... Oh. The culprit used this to defend against Mizona's attack. That's why this evidence was damaged. Okay. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. That panel's already there. After countering Mazona's attack, what did the culprit try to do next? Oh, oh. The culprit forced the shower door. You probably use this. After being sad, Mizono gathered the last shade to do what? The culprit used a certain item in my room to help destroy evidence. The culprit threw this to activate the incinerator. What did the culprit throw into the scenery? In the series, which would be the culprit mistakenly left behind a certain piece of evidence in the trash room. All right, let's go back to where it all started. Oh, this is cool! Last night, the culprit went into the room where Mizono was. In, or in other words, my to my room. More than likely, Mizono invited that person in my room in order to kill them. Using the knife she took from the kitchen beforehand, she attacked that person. But something happened that she didn't see coming. That person struck back at her with the practice sword in my room. Uh, a strike from the practice sword broke Mizono's right wrist, ending the battle. 
And then the knife was stolen from her. Cornered, Mizuno panicked and fled into the shower. The culprit went right after her, but for some reason the shower door wouldn't open. The door to my shower is misaligned, and not knowing the trick, he was unable to open it. Mizono knew because I told her, but of course the culprit didn't know. Even so, the culprit somehow forced the door open and then with the stolen knife. Oh my goodness. He stabbed Mizono. However, with her last remaining strength, Mizono left, a di left behind a dying message. On the, on the wall behind her back so the culprit wouldn't notice. In doing so, she expended all of all of all of her strength, but after murdering Mizono, the culprit hurriedly began destroying the evidence. He removed his bloodstained shirt. Then using my room's lint roller, he cleaned the room from top to bottom. To remove any trace of his having visited that room. After that, the culprit headed for the trash room to dispose of his dress shirt. He intended to burn his bloodied shirt in the incinerator there. However, shutters, shutters sealed the trash room and he was unable to approach the incinerator. Ta-da! <laughs> So the culprit used the glass ball Hagakure left in the laundry room. The culprit pushed the incinerator switch by throwing the glass ball through the shutters. For a normal person, that's practically impossible, but the culprit was confident he could do it. After all, the culprit is the super duper high school all star. He threw the glass ball with precision and control, hitting the switch and activating the incinerator. The culprit, having destroyed the evidence, was relieved and quickly left the trash room. But the culprit wasn't counting on. Part of his shirt falling out of the incinerator. And so the culprit remained blissfully unaware that he'd left behind a conclusive evidence. Oh my god, oh my god. You're busted! Isn't that right, Leon Kuata? 
Oh my god, I did it. Apparently, Hagakure forgot that the glass ball was in the laundry room. When you went to the laundry room to wash the blood off your short Kuwata, you found it there. And when you did, you came up with this plan. What do you say, Kuwata? Do you have any objections? Do I have any objections? Yeah, I do! Of course I freaking do! Anyway, all that's just a just a theory. You ain't got a bit of evidence, do ya? If there ain't no evidence, it's all bullshit. That ain't gonna fly with me. Then why don't you show him, Nagi, the evidence that he's the culprit? You have that evidence. I have that evidence? Um, yeah, help, please. Okay, what is this shit? Oh, what? You will occasionally face adversaries during class trials to, who refuse to hear you out. When that happens, you will commence a one-on-one -on -one verbal battle called a machine gun talk battle. You okay, your goal is to rhythmically obliterate your opponent's assertions as they appear. Ah, uh, when the tempo markers are at the bottom of the screen, reach the middle, press the press A button. Lock on to your opponent's assertions and press the X button. What? Wait, so I gotta play DDR and, and Call of Duty at the same time? And obliterate any locked on assertions by pressing the triangle button. As you do this, your opponent will take damage. If you fail to destroy an assertion, you... well, you'll feel it. Can I have, like, a, a practice round? Success is lo successive lock-ons or, obliter or obliteration combos and a long enough combo will increase the tempo. On the other hand, repeated misses will decrease the tempo. Be warned that as the tempo changes, it so does the timing with which you must press the buttons. Oh god. After dealing a certain amount of damage, you'll expose your opponent's weak point. As with the non-stop debate, fire your ammunition with a triangle button. If you make your refutation quickly enough, victory is yours. If you deplete your influence gauge or run out of time, the phase will end in failure. I wish you best of luck. Over and out. Oh boy. The culprit did not use something that in that room when he removed the screws from the doorknob. Indeed, the culprit likely used his own. He used something of his own to remove the doorknob screws. Could it have been... Not a freaking chance that's gonna fly with me, you dumbass, dumbass, dumbass! I need to present definite proof to Kuwata that he's the culprit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm scared, I'm scared! Oh, oh, I don't like this. I so don't like this. Failed. Fuck. Oh, I don't get it. Oh.
Would have let this run. Yeah, I want to try again. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me try this again. Okay. Occasionally you face adversaries. When that happens, you will commence a one-on-one -on -one verbal battle. Machine gun talk. Your goal is to rhythmically obliterate your opponent's assertions as they appear. When the tempo marker at the bottom of the screen reach the middle, okay, press a button. Lock on to your opponent's assertion. Assertions with the X button. And obliterate the lock on with the triangle. As you do this, your opponent will take damage. If you fail to destroy assertions, you will feel it. C -c 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 Combo breaker. Increases the tempo. Misses decreases. Change. Okay, after dealing a certain amount of damage, you'll expose your opponent's weak point. Make. Okay. Alright. Okay. Damn it! Go! Okay! <sighs> Up yours! At the crime scene, the shower's doorknob had it had had its screws removed. But when he removed the screws, what tool did screws? What tool did he use? For removing screws, he used a screwdriver. In that case, there was one in the tool set we were given, wasn't there, dude? So he used that, not like there are any other tools here. However, there were no signs that the tool set in my room ha had been used. The culprit thought the crime scene was Mizono's room and not Nagi's room. Because only the guys were given tool sets. He didn't think there would be one in that room. In which case, whose tool set did the culprit use? Dumbass, dumbass, dumbass! <laughs> the culprit had to have had used his own tools. Kawada, would you please show us your tool set if my proposition is correct? Then there should be evidence of the screwdriver having been used. <laughs> If you say you used it for something else, then explain to us where and for what. I'll warn you in advance. Trying to say you lost it won't work either. 